Good morning from Winter Haven, California, slash Yuma, Arizona. Um, so, as I uh, talked about in our last video, we're going to start doing some more day-to-day -day vlogs. And today is the next day. Well, actually, it's a day and a half later. Um, big day today. Michelle is coming home after five weeks. So we're going to take you on that adventure. Um, I've got some errands to run, so I figure I'll show you some of uh, what we have going on during the regular day. And uh, I'm gonna pick up some propane. I'm gonna check my mail over at the Christian Service Center. And I'm gonna get some gas and possibly get some cat food. And uh, I don't know, we'll see what else comes up. We're gonna go visit with my mom and dad for a while. Michelle's plane doesn't come in until like almost midnight tonight. So I figure I'll go over there and spend a lot of the day with them, um, hang out and uh, then uh, drive over and pick her up at the airport because it's only like five minutes away from uh, their house there in Yuma. So, thanks. We're at our first stop on the uh, Aaron run and I'm over at the post office. Oh. And uh, I gotta get my mask on. I'm not gonna be able to film in there. I'm sure it's probably against the law. So I uh, figured I'd just show you the walk up. Today is a good day. Got my Amazon package. It's nothing exciting, just household stuff. So um, I think the other package that I ordered actually doesn't come until tomorrow or today, which means I'll have to pick it up tomorrow. So um, on to our next uh, stop. Uh, it's actually one I forgot to mention. So uh, I'll have to show you here every in a day as you're driving down the street, you get to drive past a Blackhawk. And a tank. We're almost there. We're going to the Visitor Center at the Yuma Proving Grounds. Uh, for those of you who may not be familiar, the Yuma Proving Grounds is Army-run um, location where they're testing missiles and tanks and planes and helicopters and everything. So uh, it's not uncommon for us to hear some pretty serious explosions going on over at our campsite. I mean, they they can shake our our uh, our camper, and and you know we're probably five six miles away um, as the crow flies so it's uh it's pretty intense so here we are pulling in and you will see they have all kinds of artillery and tanks and other equipment so we're going to pull over here there's plenty of spots uh, big long spots here if you have an RV you can park here as well um, and get out and check out all the cool military equipment so uh, we'll take you and so walk you, you around the area to go on the uh, Yuma Proving Grounds they have a restaurant and they sell gas um, and they have a convenience store and stuff but uh, in order to do so you have to come up here first during working hours which I think are from 6 a.m. Monday through Thursday till 4 p.m. Yuma time and go through the credentialing process here at the gate and uh, and then you can go on the, the grounds to do those uh, the other things that they have available so I'll take you and walk you around here I got to make sure and read these signs make sure I'm allowed to film because uh, I'm not 100 percent sure so so I read through the signs and uh, it's just a list of all the convictions you can that if you have you cannot go on the proving grounds and uh, luckily I don't have any of those um, but yeah, so it's a basically a free-for-all. You can just walk around and see all the equipment and uh, all the tanks and guns and everything like that. So uh, it's pretty cool. There's a big a thousand signs that says no climbing on this stuff. So uh, I don't think I'll be doing that. Coming up on this uh, tan desert 
storm colored tank and I'm proud to say I have driven this um, but of course it was only in Call of Duty yeah this is pretty cool out here all kinds of tanks here in this area so you know if you're driving by it's definitely worth stopping especially if you're in the military and have uh, any experience driving these things or or using them in battle so um, you know if you've ever been to the Yuma Proving Grounds comment below I don't know if it's just for Army. I know they do some tra cross training with Marines. There's a Marine base down in uh, in Yuma itself, and you see a lot of the jet fighters fly flying over all the time. And uh, you know, you get woken up sometimes in the middle of the night when I'm staying at my parents down there. So, armored personnel carrier. All right gonna head on to my next stop and uh, show you a little bit of the drive I'll put this up on the dash and uh, show you what it looks like out here in Yuma You guys have asked uh, what we use to kind of save money on gas. Uh, first thing is either the app called Get Upside or Gas Buddy. In this case, we're going to use Gas Buddy. I checked Get Upside, and there's only a penny discount here at Fry's uh, gas station. So um, we're using Get Upside. We've got the premium edition, so we pay $9.99 a month, and for the first 50 gallons, we get an extra 20 cents off a gallon. Um, which basically, as long as you're going to fill up with 50 gallons a month, which we clearly do when we're traveling, um, it's definitely pays for itself. Plus, you can get some uh, gas money back on uh, online purchases, like from Home Depot. Stop in like here that. where it's a little quieter while I'm filling up. Um, so, Fry's uh, gas station, for those of you uh, in the Midwest and East that don't have that, is an affiliate of Kroger's. So, they've got the grocery store, and then you can still use your Kroger card here uh, for pump discount and for uh, credit on your groceries towards your or discount so uh, we, we often especially when they're running a, a sale on like four times rewards points or something like that we'll uh, get we'll get a ton of gift cards for things that we have to pay for anyway just to quadruple the amount um, and get credit off on gas so uh, the last couple of fill-ups we've had here we've saved almost $25 from just doing that um, because we were getting like 80 cents a gallon off each time we shopped up to 25 gallons. $55 and 71 cents. We are about half full. Um, gas right now is 366 a gallon. Um, but uh, that's before the discount. So we end up getting it for about three, about 345 a gallon, um, which, you know, these gas prices are, are, are killing us, you know, as we travel, but there's not a whole lot we can do about it. And uh, unlike some of the folks in the Midwest who have seen some discount or some relief on the gas prices, it literally has been the same amount for the last two and a half months. It, it hasn't changed a penny since we've been here. So I don't know what's going on here with the with the Yuma area that allows uh, allows prices just to stay so stagnant. So um, next thing I'll do, I'm gonna get out. I was getting out of the way. There was a guy wanting to pull up because that uh, pump had diesel. So I'm gonna pull over here and enter my gas receipt into my GPS I we track all of our gas prices um, and all of our mileage and uh, you know we just basically record all that so we can keep track for future reference um, and then we run a report every so often on Quicken to see what our monthly gas expenditures are along with all the other stuff that we track so all right I'm gonna do that and then we are heading over to one of my favorite stores, Tractor Supply Company. Um, the cat's got to eat, and that's actually where we get our cat food. Um, they, uh, they're all across the country. Most of them sell propane. This one that I'm going to particularly doesn't for whatever reason. There's actually two here in Yuma, but the other one's way over on the other side of town. So I'm going to get some cat food, and then uh, next step will be, or next stop will be either probably, I want to run the truck through the car wash if I can find one that it will fit in or um, go get propane 
and uh, we'll take you. All right, the Tractor Supply Company. So heading inside, I just remembered, uh, besides the cat food, the other thing we get is our wood pellets from here uh, that we use in the composting toilet, in our fire pit, and as cat litter. So I'll probably pick up another bag of that. It's a 40 pound bag, I think, for about six bucks or so. So it's pretty inexpensive. It's a lot cheaper than the litter we used to use, and it works a lot better as far as uh, the cats are concerned. So especially when you got four cats all sharing the same large litter box. So we'll take you inside. cat food uh, sometimes they go out of stock pretty easily up oh, they do blue buffalo wilderness here it is hashtag not sponsored all right um, yeah they actually had the adult chicken and then they had the one with the weight control and hairball control um, but we've noticed when we give them the hairball control ones um, they tend to get sick and vomit a lot so I don't know if it's whatever that that stuff is that they put inside so heading back to go find the wood pellets all right found the pellets um, by the way I forgot to put my mask on I'm sitting here carrying it so oh boy this is heavy I'll put it on now so uh, time to go check out. That's all we need here, and we're gonna head over either to fill up our propane or to um, wash the truck. So when you walk around with a camera, it sometimes draws a little attention to you. But uh, we just got another follower. Sorry for the noise. The cart's uh, a little wobbly here on the con. Got another follower. Uh, the lady, the cashier, was checking us out, asked me what I was doing with the camera and uh, told her about it. So she's going on and checking out our site and gonna start subscribing. So, uh, hey, bonus. We're getting close to 500, everyone. So if you haven't subscribed, please, please do so. Uh, you know, we're working our way slowly to 1,000, which is uh, what you have to do to get monetized. But, uh, you know, we're almost at 500 now. Thanks. Timing, I guess, today for the uh, propane, there's actually nobody in line. A couple times I've come, there's been like six or seven cars. And that takes close to 20 minutes. Uh, so uh, yeah, made it. Two ninety a gallon, which uh, isn't too bad. Uh, when we were up in the Pacific Northwest, we we're paying like almost four bucks a gallon. So let me get the propane out. Twelve dollars eighty nine cents for a full tank of propane. So um, we should be set there. Uh, that'll probably last us probably two weeks or so it just depends on how cold it gets um i've been turning the little buddy heater on in the morning sometimes because it's down into low 50s but uh but yeah our, really we're running only thing we run on propane since we don't run our furnace very often is our refrigerators on propane all the time and then uh obviously any cooking that we might do with the oven and stove so <laughs> going to be arriving at Casa de Shore and uh, hanging out with my mom and dad for the rest of the day um, get some food and watch some TV and probably take a nap and then go pick up Michelle uh, around midnight so uh, it's gonna be a long evening uh, with some night driving but uh, I'm glad that Michelle's gonna be back so I will check back in with you guys in a bit all right it's about 11.30 p.m. and I'm um, heading over to pick up Michelle at the airport. Looks like her flight's gonna get in about 10 minutes early, which is nice. Um, and then we got about a 35 minute drive. I know you can't probably see me now. We got about a 35 minute drive um, once we uh, pick her up at the airport. So uh, I'll try to film that uh, arrival and uh, we'll be back. All 
right, folks, she's back. Here she comes. Oh, I'm, I'm back. It was a good flight and good to be back in warmer weather. <laughs> All right, we're heading we're heading out. It's about a 45-minute uh, drive, so uh, we will check in with you guys tomorrow. Yeah. Welcome back, Michelle. Thanks.